Sarv is going to make us some really delicious um, Indian breakfast. So um, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. So let's go get started. Oh, not me, but Sarv will show you how to do that. <laughs> This is our bowl of spices, Indian spices. So th that's salt, cumin seeds, a turmeric, coriander, garam masala, and mustard seeds. And of course, in the middle, salt and red chili powder. We're heating up some oil. So I was making us breakfast. Subu, what are you making? It's called upma. Upma. Is what is it? It's made out of wheat mostly. So this is the thing. See, it's a roasted coarse wheat. Mm. So this is already roasted, but the ones that you you can even get the ones which are not roasted and roast them yourselves, basically. Mm. But since this is roasted, we can just use it. Take the mold to cooking. Okay, we've heated the pan and the pan is hot with oil. You're gonna put in some turmeric. I'm no. sorry, no, some mustard seeds. And once the mustard seeds are put in here and the oil's hot, you'll hear the sparkling. The splutter. The splutter sound of cumin seeds in hot oil. It's gonna stay out a little bit, I don't wanna get burnt. It's very really hot. They put some green chilies, Thai green chilies. I feel like that's a little bit burnt to go. Next will be the green onions, or onions, chopped onions. You see how they're all perfectly cut? I'm the one who cut the onions. I'm very good at cutting onions and cutting vegetables as a whole. I can stir it. Look at my skills recording and stirring at the same time. And then this is on medium heat, medium to high heat. Right now you can smell the cumins, the mustard, and the chili. It smells really good. You can, you can put some salt in it. Subu is taking it over and if now, I think our goal is to get the onions to be brown so if now to, you can put in the salt so that'll help the onions to release all of the liquid. Putting in a spoonful of salt per your taste. Sarab, he's adding some uh, ginger garlic paste. So it's basically a mixture of ginger and garlic mixed in. Just gonna add it to the mix here.
And if you have onion or a fresh onion or garlic, you can add them to the mix versus getting the ones pre-made from the jar. Make sure to um, saute the onion and garlic mixture well. If not, you'll be eating raw onions and garlic. I mean, sorry, raw ginger and garlic. Turn the bag. Next, we're going to add some frozen green peas into the mixture. Afterward, we're just going to let the green pea steam with the onions for a couple of minutes. Okay, so right now, Sarv, he's going to start adding the okma into the, the pot. So what did you say the ratio is? If you're making one cup full of okma, so this is a half cup. If you're making one cup, then you need to put two and a half times that much of water in the pan so you first put the put two and a half times water in the pan you boil the pan i mean you boil the water <laughs> you boil the pan <laughs> you boil the water till it comes like to a rolling boil and then you add the upma later and don't forget don't boil the pan <laughs> so now we're going to add water how many cups are we doing today? One cup. We're doing one cup of okma, so we're doing two and a half cups of water, right? Mm. We forgot to turn it. It's fine, we can put it. If you want your rukma to be yellow, you can put turmeric, but it's not necessary. If you'd like to add turmeric to your upma, you can add it. You, we should have added during the sauteing of the onions. Doesn't but matter but we forgot, so we uh, are going to add it here. Turmeric is very, uh, it's a very good ingredient, natural ingredient for your body. So I think that's one of the main, one of the main ingredients in Indian cooking, right? Turmeric is almost in everything. Yeah. So for me, if I were to do it, and if we didn't forget, we could have sauteed the turmeric when we sauteed the onions. So now we're just letting it boil, the water boil. This one, it looks like a hot crater. Hmm. It's boiling nicely, now it's time, time to put the upma in. So what you need to do is... What you need to do is put upma in and as soon as you put it, keep on stirring. And once you put all the upma, reduce the heat to almost low and then cover this with a lid. Otherwise the upma will keep spluttering and keep coming out. So you should add it slowly and then stir it.
make sure to stir if not all of the upmas will stick together Can you give some on my hand later? I want to see what it looks like. Okay. It was sputtering just like a crater. All right, we turn it low to 1.8. No, we turn it low to 2.6. Four minutes. Now, can you pour into my hand? So this is what upma looks like. This little roasted wheat. wheat. I'm still not sure exactly what it is because I've never really seen this before meeting Saram so I, I guess it's just roasted pellets of wheat but later of course so um, ex expand but this is what it looks like so now we're adding some frozen coconut as toppings to the top of the upma. Mmm, doesn't it look delicious? Yum! Like melted snow on a wheat field. I love coconuts. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we already turn off the stove, but we're going to close the lid and turn off the stove. I mean, we already turned off the stove and closed the lid just so the coconut, since it was frozen, so it can melt fully onto the upma. All right, the last part is done. If you like, you can put it into a container and then pour it into a bowl so it has a beautiful shape. Oh, this is the final presentation. And then if you'd like, you can add a little bit of cilantro or coriander on here. What do you guys think? Looks nice, right? It's very healthy. Alright guys, here's the final presentation. You have some cilantro or coriander on top and then add a piece of lemon so you can squeeze it over the upma. Okay, so that's mine. And here's Subu's. Tell us what you guys think after you try the recipe so you can find the upma at Indian grocery stores. I don't know if you can find them online or via Amazon. Okay, now so I'm done making our breakfast. Thank you, Subu. No problem. Looks good, right? So now we're going to eat our breakfast and we'll start the day, even though it's kind of late. Let's just think of this shape as a giant tiramisu breakfast. Mmm. Very, very fun. Love it. Please look at where all of this underneath the table. Hi, Olive. Hello. Hello. Bye bye, Olive. Say bye bye. See you next week.